how much can you upscale an image without losing quality and does the megapixel count of your camera really matter? Hello my friends, how are you doing? My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, let's get started. Here we have our sample image. Down here we have a sharp area where we have a jeans jacket. Up here we have some nice bokeh in the background and we have a semi sharp area where the hair is floating in the wind. This image has a resolution of 5184 by 3456. I have made a copy of this image on a second canvas and it has the exact same resolution. Now I will divide this value by two. This is not giving us half the resolution, it is giving us quarter the resolution because we are dividing the width by two and the height by two. Let's click on resize. So this is being resampled to the new size and I will copy it over to the original canvas. Don't forget my fun weekly challenge and see you in my live stream on Sunday. Here you can now see that this is actually the quarter resolution and I will stretch it out until it fills the canvas. Next, I'm going to create a rectangle that we are using as a mask that we can move around. So let's right click on this and say mask to below. Now at this point, everything that's inside of our rectangle is the quarter resolution. Everything that is outside of the rectangle is the original resolution. So at this point, I'm going to move my rectangle around and you can see that you don't see any difference between the quarter resolution image and the original resolution image. Of course, at this point, we are not zoomed into the image. So let's zoom down here on the jeans jacket where we have the sharper detail and set it to 100%. Now at this point, you can spot that the lower resolution image is a little bit blurry. But of course, the solution for a blurry image is to sharpen it. We are going to create a live filter for unsharpened mask and drag it onto our quarter resolution image. I will set the radius to one pixel and the factor also to one pixel. And now when we look back onto our image, you can see that there is very little difference between the full resolution image and the quarter resolution image. The quarter resolution is on the right side, the full resolution is on the left side. Of course, at this point, we are only at 100%. Let's zoom into 200%. Now you can actually see the lower resolution, but we are at 200% zoomed into the image, something you usually would not do. But we need to take into consideration at this point that this is still the quarter resolution image. We have not upsampled it again to make it the same size. Let's do this real quick and you will be astounded what's happening. Remember, the right side of the shoulder is the quarter resolution image. The left side of the shoulder is the original resolution image. I will go to File and Export JPEG with a quality of 85 and click here on Export. We will call this three and save it. Now I'm going to open this in the Windows Picture Preview and we are going again to zoom into our shoulder here and you can see that the right side is a tiny bit more blurry, but actually we don't see the pixels anymore because this image has been upscaled by saving it as a JPEG. After we have seen these amazing results, we have learned two things. First of all, if you have a good quality image, you can upscale it tremendously and it will still look similar to a high resolution image. Keep in mind that nobody is going to zoom into your images by 200%. And secondly, what results from that knowledge is that the megapixel count of your camera is not as important as the picture quality. Now, the main element for good picture quality is actually the quality 
of the lens because the lens gives you the sharpness of the image the clarity the texture and to a certain degree also the quality of the colors if you think about a good quality lens think about lenses with a small zoom range because the more zoom range you have the more glass you have in the lens this will degrade the image quality and it will take away light i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and see you soon bye